Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 9 of our testing for ethanol content in super unleaded petrols. Sorry it's been quite slow on the video upload front, I've only uploaded one since Christmas due to doing my filming, editing, voiceover and practically everything on a Samsung Galaxy S9 phone that has a failing battery and quite often crashes when trying to compile the videos. I do have lots of recorded footage and I'm hopefully going to be able to spend a whole weekend catching up with them and be able to upload a video a day for the next week. I thought I'd start with this one as I promised my next fuel test video to feature Tesco's Momentum 99 as it has been the most requested and I too have been interested to see if this one is an ethanol blend. However all my local Tesco's are near Esso garages and one that has Tesco fuel that isn't majorly far away seems to never have any stock of the Momentum. The same applied to this station about 30 miles away from me, but the other day they had momentum on just two of their 12 punts, so I have at last got some to test. Please refer to part 3 of this series to see the testing method explained, as well as part 5 to see how ethanol appears once water has been passed through the blend. Links are in the description. In short, I'm adding 300 millilitres of water to 700 millilitres of the test petrol to extract the ethanol from the petrol into the water. You'll notice that Momentum is a darker yellow colour, similar to the Texaco Supreme 97 we tested and found it to contain 2.5% corn alcohol. The Shell Fuel Save E10 that turned out to be E5. Compare this with the much clearer Shell V power that we know to be ethanol free. Could the yellow tint be an indicator to ethanol blended fuel? It would appear no at first glance. A 300 milliliter separation line means that no ethanol was absorbed into the water. If it were at 370 mil, the fuel is E10. At 335 mil, it's E5. But to remain consistent with the testing method of past videos, I'm going to leave this an hour just in case there's any change and it gives me the opportunity to break with the 45 second advert. Back after this. Today's video is brought to you by Crypto.com and their fantastic range of cashback generating steel Visa debit cards. With fuel prices as they are today... Oh my god! Imagine receiving 2, 3 or even 5% cash back on not only your fuel purchases but anything you pay for using the card with absolutely no fees hidden or otherwise and even paying 100% of your Spotify and Netflix subscriptions. What's more is if you click the link in the description below you will receive $25 for free when you install the Crypto.com app and sign up to receive your card. Please feel free to comment if you need any further information on this offer or the Crypto.com app itself. Now back to the video. Coming back an hour later, as with our previous tests, there has been no change to the separation level, thus no ethanol has been drawn into the water. I think we've proven that the pour-free mixing method gives us near instant results, which is why you don't have to shake measuring cylinders, provided that you're pouring the water into a tube that already contains petrol as the water passes through to settle below it. Again, please refer to part 5 of this series where I do an overnight test just to debunk claims that I need to leave it longer than just an hour. Something else we've debunked here is that the darkness of the yellow tint in the fuel is an indicator to its contents. I found no information online with regard to the colour of UK fuel, but on Australian website... We must I, mate? treat this uh, new world order, new, this new world of Covid, we must treat this new world of Covid. What contact tracing Good day, looks Sheila. like in the new world order? It's drove. It said that they tend to tint their 91 octane low aromatic petrol a darker yellow as an identifier, apparently designed to limit some type of substance abuse where people inhale the vapour. But E10 or premium unleaded petrol, pulp as they call it, could be any colour from completely clear to a straw yellow. I'm surprised that Momentum is ethanol free, but just to state this is in the south of England. In the north, Scotland and I understand Devon and Cornwall have different distribution from their refineries, so in these areas they may be up to 5%. For classic and bike use it may pay you to find out where your closest petrol station is that supplies ethanol free fuel, as you could plan a trip and fill up your tank and get a few jerry cans worth. Or sometime in the near future I'll post a video on how to extract ethanol in large batches of petrol as well as review some of the Octane boosters and stabiliser additives. 
I was surprised with the Tesco stuff is that many years ago, some friends of mine with cars that were tuned to need a minimum of 98 ROM used to say they only used Momentum because it was the highest octane petrol for the lowest cost. Others then argued not to, as uh, Tesco achieved that by using bioethanol, which yes is cheap, but does boost octane, which in short means that it withstands detonation through compression, uh, which is a desirable in a diesel engine as heavy oils combust via the heat generated by compression, but in a high performance petrol engine you want to control the combustion with a time spark at the point of high compression without pre-combustion. And of course, uh, this was back in a time where biofuels were not mandated in the UK and it also causes water ingress into your fuel system on cars that back then were never designed to be run on the crap. If it was the case back then with Tesco using ethanol as their octane boosting additive, it certainly isn't now, at least in this part of the country. Please remember to like and subscribe. I will endeavour to post one video each day for a week and until tomorrow, thanks very much for watching. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at pouring most of the petrol back out. With each test I do, there's less of it being wasted.